and I'm um, from Big Sky, Montana. I've been working in Big Sky for 13 years. Um, I've also worked in Park City in New Zealand um, at Mount Hutt and originally I'm from Ben Lomond, Tasmania. Um, I'm an NR NRM clinician and an examiner at Big Sky. I've been doing it for the Nordic side for five years and um, just for a couple of years on the Alpine side as a clinician. Um, I've kind of, I'm also a physical therapist and part of my niche has kind of been directed towards biomechanics of skiing and I love I love getting out there and leading clinics on biomechanics. Um, you know, I really want to be part of the 2016 Nordic team. Um, I refuse to believe that Telly is dead and I want to do all I can to promote um, Telly skiing. Okay, so to answer question two, um, what has really ignited my commitment to snow sports instruction? Um, I would say that I have been, um, I've fallen in love with the industry since a very young age. I started ski instructing at 14 um, in Tasmania and it really has opened so many doors with regard to um, you know, world travel and experience. Um, I got certified as an instructor in Finland and so that was an opportunity to ski under the lights because in January in Finland there is like no no daylight and then I first went to the US um, in 98 and it just really consolidated my love for ski instruction you know the camaraderie the enthusiasm that we get amongst ski school um, nothing matches it and it makes the world smaller I met my husband through ski instructing so um, I don't think um, my commitment has really ever halted if I had to like really um, hone in on one experience I would say it was teaching the farm team race program um, in Park City, Utah, and that was in 2001. Um, my first year in the program, I had probably the kids of the lowest skill set. They were J4s, J5s, and um, I was really motivated to get these kids up to speed. You know, no one wants to be in the bottom of the pile. Um, I was uh, really appreciative that the bottom of the program was that. Um, there was a lot of skill so we probably spend about 30 percent of the time in gates um, and I really you know focus on just getting these kids enthusiastic and really getting them used to varying terrain and building up their skills we did a lot of drills and you know in the end these kids weren't win winning races but they were holding their own and um, it was a program um, Saturdays and Sundays we got to travel um, probably to three or four races, do some night training sessions and since then I've always um, tried to seek out those coaching experiences because I think that's where you can really make an impact. Why do I want to be in the team and how do I think I can contribute? You know I've gained so much from ski instructing um, and from the industry and I really want to give back. Um, I feel like um, through the years my experiences have really helped me and set me up um, to be in the team. Um, as I mentioned, I'm also a physical therapist and um, a lot of the time I feel like my head is, is always in ski instructing when I'm in the clinic. I'm always thinking about, okay, how is this gonna relate on snow? Um, through my cover letter, I mentioned um, some of the details of the biomechanics clinics I've been leading. I feel like I've really been able to contribute to NRM um, in this realm. Um, you know, just kind of get, getting our staff up to speed with um, anatomy and biomechanics and just being aware of, you know, basic structure and function of joints and how they move and um, what planes of motion. Um, you know, instructors oftentimes have really good awareness of movement, um, movement analysis and, um, you know, without even realizing it. And I feel through my PT career, I've been, I've been ahead of the curve because I, you know, I watch people make turns. So what does it mean to be on the team? It means to be a leader, um, to be inspirational, to get others passionate about the sport and make it a lifelong commitment, um, to promote the growth of the organisation and to make it stronger and to be representing on a national level. And so I hope to see you in Breckenridge um, this spring.